Today, I want to introduce you to smart chips. No, this is not a new type of health food that makes you smarter, but it is an awesome new feature for Google Docs that will help you design better lessons and assignments for your students. Let's take a closer look. This update to Google Docs is something that I am very excited about. This really has the potential to revolutionize how we use and create Google Documents. Let me introduce you to Smart Chips. It's really a very basic concept. Google has now added the ability for you to attach these chips, which are just digital information, inside of your Google Doc. Currently, there are three types of chips that are supported. We can tag people, files, and events. The secret to using smart chips is to type the at symbol in your document. As soon as you do that, you'll see a new window appear with several suggestions about people, events, and files. You can tag people in your documents, and I'll share how that could be helpful here in a minute. You can tag files in your document, linking one file to another. And finally, you can tag events that are on your calendar. So if you have an upcoming um, appointment or IEP meeting, you could tag that in a document as well. These are the three types of smart chips that are currently available, but Google has made strong suggestions that more smart chips are coming. I am super excited about the ability to tag, potentially, this is pure speculation on my part, Google Classroom assignments, Edpuzzle activities, uh, Kahoot games, uh, Quizlet study sets, so many possibilities for this new smart chip feature. Now, I also want to introduce you to a little bonus feature. This isn't technically a smart chip, but it's closely related. Google has also added the ability to add a checklist to Google Docs. Now, I'm sure that you're familiar with the old uh, numerical list and the bulleted list, but you now have a new option that has recently appeared called a checklist. This is super cool. Let me go ahead and add one in here. And I can say, you know, item one, go down here, item two, item three, and I can cross them off once those items are complete. The combination of these two features, smart chips and checklists, have a lot of classroom potential. Let me show you some examples. First, I mocked up this genetics review guide. So I taught high school science, and this is something that I would do on a regular basis. We just finished a unit, and I want all my students to compile a review guide together. So I've created this document. I put all of our main objectives here in the middle, and then I went through and added smart chips tagging a student for each of those objectives. Now, when you tag a student, similar to tagging them in a comment, they'll receive a notification. It'll make sure the document is shared with them and cues them into, hey, there's something I need to do here. Furthermore, I've assigned the student to those objectives. When they do the research, they compile, they summarize that objective. I've asked them to link their research, their summary, here in this uh, review guide. And so they have added their own smart chip linking to the document, the presentation, uh, the spreadsheet that they've created related to that topic. So that's just one idea for how you could potentially use these smart chips in the classroom. I'm a big fan of HyperDocs. I've talked about them before on the channel. Um, and so this is one that I've shared with you previously. I'm now going back through a lot of my HyperDocs to change my links into smart chips. So for example, this HyperDoc here has a group discussion. I've now tagged that using a smart chip, and it also has a Google Form quiz, which I'm tagging here as well. This just makes my HyperDocs even better. It takes minimal work to do that. Now, what are the benefits of adding the smart chips in, as compared to just a regular link? Well, first of all, you can definitely see the styling is different. You get the little Google Drive logo, doc slide sheet, so you know what type of file you're opening. If I change or update the file name, that file name will update here as well. And it also checks to make sure that the people who have access to this document also have access to the connected document. So it reminds me, you say, hey, these people don't have access. Would you like to share this file with them? So those are some of the advantages of using a smart chip compared with just a regular link. 
Um, let me show you a couple of other ones. Um, I do group projects. This is an ecology project that I used to do in my class. Um, I divide students into uh, groups of five and each student has a role. Um, and I've gone ahead and added a checklist to this document. So here are the objectives that you need to complete. Here are the requirements for this assignment. And the student can go through and check these off after they've completed those things. I have tagged, you know, Peter is uh, assigned to the ecologist role in this group. So I've gone through and tagged them. Uh, Edmund is the botanist and so on. So I'm building my group project here uh, inside of Google Docs. I've also left a space down here at the bottom for students to uh, attach or uh, tag their research document when that is ready. So group projects uh, really could be improved with this smart chip feature. One final example I'll leave you with. Um, this is more of a administrative uh, professional one. So here's a website update uh, project. So maybe a, a department is working on, on this together. We've got all the pages and the status. So we can say, where is this page at? We are tagging uh, the text of that document, who it's assigned to. And I've also attached a link to the meeting um, for this web design project. So that will link out to the Google Calendar. Um, special education teachers, this smart chip feature has some great potential for you. You have so many documents and uh, meetings to keep track of. You could potentially create something like this uh, for the special ed department to track all of those things. I'd love to know which of these features you are excited about. Leave me a comment and let me know if you're excited about smart chips, checklists, um, and what potential you see for this in the classroom. If you're interested in more advanced teaching techniques, I'm going to link to my playlist of videos that contains advanced tips and tricks for working with Google Drive.